did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Hi everybody, happy Halloween. Hope you all have a safe, fun holiday, worshiping the devil and overindulging on sweets. Ah, just kidding. Bring out the kid in you. It's a great day. You get to do whatever you want and be anything that you can dream of. If you can put it on, you can make it happen. So have fun. It's my favorite holiday. I certainly know what I'm going as. It involves a bright purple wig. So look forward to that. Uh, I'll probably be bringing you uh, the next couple of days uh, something on my Halloween costume. Uh, I always do have um, high accolades. I receive high accolades from my friends for my Halloween costume. So uh, I will unleash that online to all my friends and anyone who wants to see it. Uh, I just want to talk briefly tonight about something that I saw on the way home from work that kind of bothers me a little bit. Uh, it is no doubt, as many of you know, election season. Uh, election Tuesday is next Tuesday. So uh, one week away here and campaign signs are out, the dirty ads are slinging. And I saw one sign, I don't think it was actually a campaign sign. It wasn't for a candidate, it wasn't for any ballot or, or any initiative that I know that's on the ballot. But someone had put up on a like public roadway sign that attached the sign to it that said stop gay adoption. And it kind of just made me think. I mean, here we are in the year 2006. You know, we've had some level of, you know, acceptance of, of gay rights. You, most people, I think, understand, even the conservative right, you know, the hardcore, you know, white Christian base understands that gay people are to most degree normal. We live in every community, you know, big cities, small cities. We do any job you do, there are construction workers, there are cops, there are, you know, up to dancers and everything else. Uh, there is no real gay stereotype. Gay people are everywhere. You can find gay, gays and lesbians in any major city, any small town, wherever. And it was just kind of appalling to me that we still haven't reached this ubiquitous level of, of not acceptance, but even tolerance. Um, you know, that gay people strive for the same things that most straight people do. They want to, you know, grow up in a safe area, get an education, find someone uh, to, you know, spend their days with that makes them happy. And many of us want to raise a family, you know. We want to have a life partner and, you know, kids and a house and something that we can actually build together. What could be more normal than that? How can you possibly hate against that? What could be more Christian? I myself am gay and I'm a Christian. Um, I you know, haven't exactly gone to church in the longest time, but I am a little bit busy. But it just absolutely appalls me that with the number of children in this country born out of wedlock, um, you know, the number of children born to crack mothers, and you know, that you have 47 out of the 50 states that have um, what they call them safe abandon laws, I believe, where you can take your kids and, you know, if you're a single mother, whatever, in whatever your situation is, with no questions asked, you can leave your child on the doorstep of a hospital or a, a police station, no questions asked, and they will, you know, put the child into the, the state-run foster care program and find a home for this child. And you have, uh, you know, committed, successful couples that are in, you know, stable relationships that are committed to each other, that are completely normal and wonderful people that have this relationship with lots of love to give that want to raise a family. And you are going to try and bar these people from adopting. I, that absolutely appalls me. It's, you know, how do you, how can you have both sides of the coin here? You can say you're going to be a Christian, but, you know, you're not going to allow a, someone who is um, two people that are in a stable, loving, committed relationship to raise a family and to give, you know, so many of these underprivileged and in many cases unwanted children um, a chance at life, a real chance at success. I mean, face it, folks, when it comes to adoption, that's the bottom line, is to give a child that wasn't given the same chances you were, or that probably wasn't even given the same chances that his or her parents were, to give them the chance to succeed in life, to give them a chance to, to be anything they want to be. And all it takes is someone to, to encourage and to love and to support that child, to be there to give that child a hug and tell them that they can do it and to raise them to be the most wonderful, confident person. There are incredible, successful single parents out there, um, single dads and single moms that work, you know, sometimes two jobs. My mother worked two jobs after my parents got divorced to raise us kids and she did a wonderful job. 
She's an incredible woman, has a, an incredible faith in God and faith in Jesus. And I absolutely admire, admire her for that. I, there's no way in the world that I could ever walk a mile in her shoes. I simply couldn't fill them. Um, all of us are grown now. My uh, youngest sister just turned 18, actually went off to college. And she's adopted two more kids uh, that were uh, friends of the family. And these are, you know, both kids with uh, special needs, um, you know, ADHD and uh, learning disabilities. And she really takes on the challenge. And she just has a lot of love to give. She's the most wonderfully loving, nurturing woman. And um, a lot of that, I think, rubs off in me. She says that she sees a lot of herself in me. And that really makes me proud and makes me smile. And I look forward one day to having... Uh, you know, me and my husband having the opportunity to do that with our kids. Um, you know, I look forward to um, to having nights at home with, you know, with the family and um, having kids that someone that you can give them every opportunity possible and just show them that they can reach for the stars and watch, you know, these this wonderful child grow into to something absolutely amazing, you know president of the United States to, you know, a tennis professional. Um, just let them be anything they want to be. And, um, you know, you're just keeping so many kids down. I really think, this is what I think is the ultimate hypocrisy of the Christian right, is that they say, you know, they're, it's about love. It's about, you know, Christ's love and Christ accepts, um, you know, Christ loves everyone and that Christ forgives. But, you know, they tend to be ultimately judgmental. I think they really do, that if you don't love our way, that your love is less equal. Um, love is universal. Love is all-powerful. And if you have that love to give, you should absolutely be able to give it. Um, think before you speak. Think before you put things up like that. Um, it's really harmful, really hurtful, and it really doesn't make any sense. You know, I mean, when it comes to the children, you're talking about giving children opportunities. And to bar these opportunities for children is unconscionable to me, you know? What would Jesus do? Would Jesus say, you know, no, I'm sorry, you may not raise a child? I don't think so. Um, everyone, the most common arguments you hear against gays raising children are, you know, they're going to rape and sodomize their children. They're going to have sex with them. Gay people are not pedophiles. Homosexuals and gays and lesbians are normal people who have normal relationships, they just happen to be with people of the same sex. You know, one day I certainly hope to find that man and have my own children, and it has absolutely nothing to do about sex. It has to do with love and life and ambition and faith in God. It really does. So think before you act, but however you feel, remember to vote um, Tuesday, November 6th or 7th, uh, the first Tuesday in November at any rate. Um, so it is important that you vote, and if you don't vote, you have no voice. Um, if you want the right to stand up and bitch about the way things are going, then you need to vote so you can say that you stood up and did something to change that. Uh, so food for thought tonight. Hope you all enjoy listening. Uh, have a happy and safe Halloween. Um, think with your hearts, and then act with your mind. Bye, everyone.